Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, you weren't expecting that, weren't you? I'm sorry. That's how that's how we sync uh, stuff around here. Oh, I feel you. Okay. So we're All good. Right. Um, but we are here with another episode of the Mylon Sport Podcast, live from Midsummer Screen. We are. We just got out of the HHN panel, fresh on our minds. Let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I'll start with uh, the big announcement. What do we uh, we got here? Is uh, well, well, actually, well, let's start with this. We got uh, Adam here. What? Yeah. What's up, guys? Adam with Theme Park Pass. Yeah. Uh, we, I work with him a lot on his channel, um, help him film a lot of stuff for him because I want, I want to see his channel grow, success, so I offered to give my services and help and uh, I enjoy doing it. So I asked him while he's at Midsummer Screen, maybe he can join the podcast, that'd be fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So thank you for being on the podcast, Thanks by the way. for all the help you do for Theme Park. Oh, Pass, dude, too. it's my pleasure, my pleasure. So, Sammy, back to that announcement. Yeah, back to the announcement. Back to uh, where we were. So we got uh, right off the bat here. We got John Birdie coming up, and then what did we get? The creep show. Creep show. Creep show. What are, What are we thinking? Well, I'm a big fan of the original movie and the comic book. I think I'm gonna have to pick those up again just because I want to reread and uh, stuff like that. I'm also I was like, very excited to find out that uh, Shutter was bringing it to. Shutter. <laughs> um, they, they, they were making a new show for Shutter, revamping the series with, of course, one of the uh, head producers of The Walking Dead at the time. Um, so that was really cool to see that. Uh, what about you, man? What do you think? All right. So I have a confession. Yeah. I've never seen Creep Show. Never seen Creep Show? Not ever. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You got time to watch it. I, I, I have to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really good. It's like, like he said, it's an anthology thing, like the book was. It was a comic book that I think I believe Stephen King wrote it, and uh, it was a com It was like the only thing comic version that Stephen King wrote. So it, it's it's really cool anthology where you see, of course, um, these different stories, and they all not not tie into one, but they just all kind of like they're kind of sinister and stuff like that, which I cool. which is really really cool. Um, and he went, of course, scene by scene, what will be seen in this maze as far as, you know, um, the different scenes from the movie and the new show that they were going to be seen um, and stuff like that. And I I've actually was very excited to hear that this was coming. This was heavily rumored on the leaked lineup as well, um, which I have a video if you guys want to see on my channel of what the leaked lineup is. But this was on the leaked lineup for uh, HHN this year for 2019. Uh, going into what we just heard, what do you think of the event so far? Um... I mean, I think there's some really strong properties at the event this year. Um, <laughs> uh, if you've seen my videos, you know I'm not too uh, fond of Ghostbusters coming to the event. But uh, Stranger Things Season 2, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yes. So Fat excited so. for that. Uh, and Creep Show, I'm actually pretty excited for. There's only one thing that I'm not super excited for. So, so uh, uh, the maze is located where American Horror Story was in Blumhouse. Of Blumhouse, yeah. Uh, and as we've seen from construction, that tent seems like it's gotten a little smaller than we've seen it in some years. Yeah. And there are five different like, like stories. Stories. Seven. It's like really like seven of you. Yeah. Think about oh, because the prologue, of the prologue, epilogue, epilogue and yeah. then we got five There's stories. Seven things going into this, um, like you know, little tiny maze, and I'm kind of worried that. Uh, it's not going to translate too well. Yeah. yeah. Just so, just for everyone who's watching, what a uh, John Murdy let us know was we're going to be so we're going to walk into the maze. It's basically going to be a comic book, right? We're going to walk in. We got Meet the Creep. Then we have um, five different scenes: Father's Day, the crate, uh, the creeping up on you, Gray Matter. So the first three, the creeping up on you, the crate, and Father's Day are uh, original movie, yeah. and then we got two new ones based on the Shutter show, uh, Gray Matter, um, Bad Wolf Down, and then we end with the epilogue. Um, so, and then obviously he gave us details. But so, what are your what are your individual thoughts on each one of those? Um. So the first one is is the Father's Day one, right? Yeah, that's the one where he was saying of course, uh, like something that, like on the lines of the kid makes the cake, and you see his rotting corpse and stuff like that. They kind of show yes. the images. Yes, yes, that I think that's gonna be cool. Um, like I said, I haven't seen the movie, but like he showed pictures and explained the story and stuff. Yeah. And so I'm pretty excited for that one. Definitely. It's kind of weird though because like, 
Holidays in Hell is up on the upper lot. And yeah. It's a bunch of holidays. And yeah. then in this maze, there's also another holiday that they're <laughs> yeah, I get putting into saying. it. So yeah. that's kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool, though, in a way. So Yeah, yeah. Um, he also uh, went into detail as to what will be seen in the new Shutter show. Um, of course, he didn't give too much away because he didn't want to spoil it. However, he went into saying that we'll see like two new scenes from the show, um, two new stories that are going to be into the maze. Um, and he wants us to really watch this show, really, you know, kind of enjoy it and stuff like that. Um, I'm really excited for this maze. Like I said, this was heavily rumored to the event this year. And uh, the location, the three locations that we got, of course, for the mazes in the back lots, of course, is Creep Show now where the um, Horse of Blumhouse was, was last year. Uh, we got Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, where I believe, what was last year? Ash vs. Evil Dead? Uh, no. No, no, no. That was the year. Uh, it was uh, uh, the first Purge. Yeah. yeah. First Purge was last year. And Poltergeist is now, of course, um, Ghostbusters. Now, yes. I want to I get your thoughts a little bit on Ghostbusters, because I, I am actually really looking forward to this maze. Let, what is it that you think, like, what, what makes you, like, kind of eh about the maze? Well, you know what? Let's talk about Ghostbusters. Let's yes. talk about Ghostbusters. Okay. Ghostbusters, to me, is a family-friendly uh, movie, yeah. and I, I don't think, I've never watched Ghostbusters, even when I was little, and I never got scared from it. I think what they can do. Um, so l l let's let's talk a little bit about the ghost. You got that, of course, that first ghost in the in the beginning, the library ghost. She looks creepy. Now bringing that to life, that can be very scary. That uh, that's the strongest point of the maze, I think. That right there, and then maybe seeing a giant Stay Puft Marshmallow Man kind of charging at you. Mm -hmm. That could be kind of scary, too. Mm -hmm. That might just make me hungry, to be honest. Honestly, yeah. Um, also, uh, this just happened this week, too, but someone who worked in Orlando actually leaked the effect of how they're going to do the Slimer ghost coming down the hallway. Oh, did they really? So they have a, a plexiglass in the hallway, and it's a projection of Slimer like he looks like he's in the hallway. Uh, and they leak that, and uh, it's, it's, it's kind of insane. <laughs> I am excited no. to see how they pull off some stuff in Ghostbusters. And, and I do have a little tiny tiny bit of faith in ghostbusters because of how well poltergeist turned out yeah, and that was another pg movie as yeah, well Yeah, that was another pg yeah. movie which is why i have some faith in ghostbusters but definitely uh i'm not looking forward to it really let's just talk about the lineup so we, so we have so far so the first one we got announced this past year was i believe stranger things 2 right right and then the second one was holidays in hell correct the second the third one was uh, frankenstein meets the wolfman um the fourth one was Ghostbusters, then it was Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and then now the newly announced Creep Show. So where does that put us right now? Is that that's six? six? That and means we we're getting ten. ten. So we still got four more. Oh, actually, now that's actually that's seven because they include the Walking Dead full time attraction. Which, yeah, which um, is a whole nother topic. It's a whole nother topic. <laughs> but now, now we have seven. We have seven uh, sh uh, mazes to the event. That means three more to be announced. There's actually one more. There's two in the tram garage that have not been announced. And I can't think where they're going to put the other one. Because now we got all three Metro sets. Did we get we Waterworld? Waterworld Q. So the Waterworld Q and the two in the tram garage. There's also rumor that there's not going to be a tear tram this year. That's what I've been hearing. So we'll see on that. I think my most hyped maze right now, obviously, is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I love that movie so much. Um, as you can see, I bought this mask at Midsummer Scream today. That tells you how much I love this movie. Um, what about you? What's your most kind of in you know maze that you're looking forward to a lot this year, though? Uh, honestly, probably uh, it, it's probably a toss up between Stranger Things and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Okay. Because uh, Universal Classic Monsters last year was amazing. Was amazing. It was hands down probably the best maze last year. Probably the. I think it was tied with Stranger Things, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I th those were both really great mazes, so it's cool that we're seeing them again. Yeah. Um, I do. I, I don't know. I have a feeling though that Frankenstein meets the Wolfman isn't going to be as good as Universal Monsters was last year. Yeah. Um, just I, I don't know. I, it, it's um, I don't know. I just have a feeling it's going to be a lot of black walls and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Just I don't know, and a part of it has to do with the location too. I'm not too big on that location. Like, it kind of sounds weird, but um, to me, like, location of the maze actually kind of matters. Like, Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. What about you, Sammy? What's your most, like, anticipated maze this year? 
Uh, I think I'm going to go with Stranger Things Season 2. I'm really excited to see how they're going to do the demo dogs. Um, uh, including a little bit of Season 3 as well. Yeah, they, they are going to include a little bit of Season 3. Uh, and that's where like, it gives me hope for Ghostbusters, because if they're able to transport a show, Stranger Things, where, I mean, there is some scary parts of it, but it's not really like the scariest of shows um, into a good maze, then they can probably do the same thing with Ghostbusters. You know, the same way that they have, like, the agents kind of popping out of different corners that they did in chapter, or, well, season one um, of the maze of Stranger Things. They can do the same thing with, you know, the Ghostbusters. Yeah, the Ghostbusters actually scaring you. Um, So that's really cool, and I'm really excited because it's probably going to have the car and different things like that. That's one thing I'm very much looking forward to seeing if they bring is the hearse. I I love that that car. That's one of the most infamous cars in uh, movie history, and uh, to see if they bring that hearse would be pretty cool. Uh, We also got a little bit of details involving... some new sculpts, I believe, uh, for, was it all, yeah. was it scare zones, or did we get some sculpts for mazes, too? We, we, we did get both, because we yeah, had we the sculpts, sculpts, obviously, from Creepshow, yeah. um, that he showed, but mostly, you know, we, holidays. he spent that last, last half, oh, Holidays in Hell, too. Yeah. Uh, but he spent that, really, that last half, focusing on the scare zones, which look impeccably scary, those, um, and I'm not excited those, to walk through any of them. Those molds, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but those You're molds, good. wow, those were... <laughs> Those were terrifying. Like the they were on a lot of them. And let's talk about. There's one in specific I want to talk about because it reminds me of um, the Grudge, and that's the that was of course the um, one they have the still walker for the um, the the Asian type s you know yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. scare zone that they're doing. Uh, what was it? The evil in the east or something like that? Uh, dark something, something in the east. The I east. know. Yeah. 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 Um, but that still walker with the the mouth is terrifying. Like, it was so bad in the panel, guys, that, like, literally once that was announced, you just hear yelling, someone yelling, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I agree. No, trust me. I agree. I agree. Um, but it, it's just terrifying. Uh, a lot of the sculpts look amazing, though, and they're not even – that's not even like, the finished product yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do you – what is, like, the scares on this year that you're most excited for? Uh, probably um, the dark whatever of the East – um, the the China yeah, yeah the, the, the China Asian one. one I'm really excited to see how they do the opening ceremony for that yeah because now Sammy he's a we're we we're, we're huge fans of that movie Us and that's also another property right. that's rumored to be coming to the event this year Sammy very much wanted them to do the uh, opening ceremony of uh, what was it yeah so I wanted Hands Across America everyone in red scissors in hand and as soon as you get to go they're chasing you the hell away with scissors that would have been it would have been the coolest thing I would ever. Yeah, it would have been. For next year, but uh, yeah, that that's. Uh, I'm curious to see how they're gonna open the scare money this year with that. That's gonna be a fun one to go through. That's definitely. gonna be a really fun one, especially seeing that four-legged uh, creature. Yeah. Come out. Is that an Annabelle doll? Uh, I'm sorry, we just got distracted on the podcast. There is an Annabelle cosplayer, literally, walking by. It looks really cool. Tammy, are you seeing this? That's that's freaky. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I never get distracted on the podcast, but I saw you're, when you're at Midsummer Screen. Yeah, you know it, what's it's kind of hard not to get distracted. Yeah, when I mean, Annabelle you see, you, s- <laughs> you see this getting wheeled across the. Look at that. That's convention. such a good cosplay. I think they're it's parents, and they have their little girl into this basket, which looks like a like a carriage of some sort. The, the display case, at least, and it's Annabelle, and it was really cool. Back to the topic at hand. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> But we got a lot of good sculpts from uh, Dark Christmas, uh, which is going to be, of course, the Christmas section of the Holidays in Hell. We got right. a lot of info about Holidays in Hell from uh, what he got drew inspiration of, uh, some original fireworks. They had a design on the spot, which looked really cool. Those do look really cool. Like, I would love to have those as posters in my room or something. They, that's how cool yeah. they look. They look dope. Or like a t-shirt or something. Uh, what's up first, Scare Zone? Because that's what I'm probably most terrified of. Mm, the one with oh. the chainsaws. Um... Oh, the angels. Oh, oh the fallen, fallen angels, angels yes. with a Z. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fallen angels. Yeah, that's going to be the opening scare zone for uh, f- when you walk in the park. That will be that scare zone. And then you go into the, the, the Asian-inspired one. And then you're going to go, of course, uh, the last scare zone, f- or the, the last part of uh, Holidays in Hell will be the Christmas scare zone, which he explained that it's going to be Satan Santa and a tree lot, which I thought was interesting. I think that's going to be really cool. It's, it's going to be really cool to see. Um then you're going to go down, of course, to the lower lot, and that's when you go into Toxic Tunnel, and he explained that it's going to be different, 
like workers and stuff. And of course, they're they're doing their jobs where they have like Frankenstein masks and stuff on like that, and like Dracula and stuff, which I thought looked really cool. Toxic Tunnel with three X's. Three X's. He made sure he made sure to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then of course the last uh, scare zone is going to be that um, all all Hollows Evil. Yes, yeah. which is going to be leading into the Metro sets, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, what is your final verdict of this overall panel, though? I think I think it was a pretty strong panel. I was genuinely confused when the first thing they did was announce a maze. Yeah, because <laughs> typically, like you know, they announce a maze at the end. Like, at the that's end, how they end it. Yeah. Um, but John Murdy gets up there and he's like, "All right, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, Chris isn't here, but oh, then he clicks a slide and it says it's maze announcement time." And I was like. What? Whoa! Wait, hold, right now? <laughs> and, I know. I just kind of—he kind of just threw it out of nowhere, which um, I—I—I I, I, I don't know if you heard me. I went kind of ape shit. I—I I, I yeah. really like Creep Show. <laughs> I think we all did. I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really love Creep Show though. It's, it's, I'm really excited for it to be coming. Um, I can't wait to reread it and rewatch it, and then watch the Shutter series as well. Um, yeah. Speaking of Shutter, um, what, what if I want to try it out? What, what, what can I do? Yeah, we don't have a sponsorship with them anymore. Oh uh, well. Okay. Bring it back. <laughs> it's okay. We're working on it. <laughs> yeah, our promo code no longer works. <laughs> uh, anyway, sad teary eye. Shutter, if you're listening, Oof. you know, hook us up. Shutter, what is what is going on? We're we're, we're you know we're here. <laughs> I guess we gotta get a subscription. <laughs> gotta just gotta get a subscription. <laughs> no 14 day free trial for the Knights of Horror. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this year for HHN, though. It's going to be a good one. Um, of course, so we can recap it. We've got um, Creep Show that just got announced. We've got some holidays in hell, uh, sculpts and designs as to what we're going to be seeing in each part of the maze. we got, of course, scare zone sculpts and stuff like that and uh, a little bit of designs of what they're going to be looking like and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so, so far, again, recapping the lineup for this year, uh, we got, of course, Stranger Things Season 2, which is going to include a little bit of Season 3, uh, just like a scene or some sort uh holidays in hell an original maze music by figure we got the universal monsters presents frankenstein meets the wolfman music by slash um then we got the ghostbusters which is going to be a take on the original ghostbusters from the 1980s killer clowns from outer space the call classic everyone loves uh with of course the killer clowns from outer space um we got, of course, the Walking Dead full-time attraction, which is there all year round. So if you guys go through that during Horror Nights, I don't know why you guys do don't that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do Just it. Just don't do it. Just avoid it. And then, of course, we got um, the newest announced maze as of today, as of this recording, Creep Show, uh, which will be at the event. So I'm excited. I'm excited, too. Very um, 80s themed. I like that a lot. Um, but one thing I do hope they do this year, at least, is obviously – no black walls, but that's just never going to happen, and I, my hopes are, are gone for that. But just, like, implementing a new scare tactic yeah. besides the, you know, pop out of a wall with the strobe effect. Yeah. Um, because in Orlando, they do have, like, bungee cords and stuff, and yeah. it's more creative, where I feel like... Um, Nost does the same thing, too. They have yes. people that will, like, swing out at you. Yeah, and I, I cool. think that it's just getting a little stale to see the same scares over and over again. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I'm super excited for the event. Um and yeah so there's actually one more thing i want to talk about too they announced at uh halloween hornets this year for uh universal studios uh in hollywood at least every thursday is going to be a throwback thursday night what it's going to be an 80s vibe night they'll have djs all over the park and stuff like that it's to be a throwback thursday night so if you go to the event at halloween hornets on a thursday you'll get to experience the throwback thursday night uh very 80s themed and they're gonna have djs all over the park just doing that i didn't even know that <laughs> yeah that's that <laughs> just got, that awesome got announced i think this last week when tickets went on sale that's really and then there's so. also a fan preview night yeah fan preview night's gonna be september 12th 2019 and then followed by opening night september 13th friday the 13th yeah. um all tickets are on sale now frequent fear passes front of the line or universal express uh the vip tour just standard general mission they're all on sale now all the dates are announced and stuff we have three more mazes to be announced i believe Yes. Seven, eight, nine, or yeah, eight, nine, ten. Uh, set three more uh, mazes to be announced. The two by the tram garage, and of course the one by at the Waterworld queue that have not been announced. Waterworld queue is heavily rumored to be House of a Thousand Corpses, um, from what I've hearing. That's what I've heard too. And then of course one of the one of the rumored mazes for the garage to tram garage is Us. Us would be really cool. So. Uh, Stay tuned for the Knights of Horror and Theme Park Pass. We will get to you those announcements when the best we can. Adam. We sure will. Thank you for being on the show of Summer of Thanks Guests. Thanks for having me. Uh, Midsummer Scream. We are here all weekend. Uh, we were here all weekend. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we were here. We were here all weekend. Uh, Kim and Kit stay alive. Adam from Theme Park Pass. And, of course, we have Fractured Compass Productions on the show. We will see you guys in the next podcast. And, uh, Adam, you're welcome back anytime. Thanks, man. Thanks for all having right. me. See you guys. See you guys later.